In exploring the theme of the web of life, I have thus far discussed two principal topics. First, the web considered as selectivity. Experience considered as what we pay attention to on the one hand and what we ignore on the other. And I showed how the way in which we pay attention to the world creates, isolates, I'm using that as a noun, isolates that we call particular things, events and persons, and they seem to be disconnected and to be alone because we ignore the connections between them. And I used the analogy of weaving where the threads go underneath and join on the back in a way that is not seen on the front. So you might say in the unconscious, although I don't particularly like that word because it makes it seem as if it was something rather dead, but on the unconscious side of life, as on the back of the weaving or the back of the embroidery, there are connections which are not published. Now in the second part of the theme was the web as mutuality, when I discuss the way the existence of a web, the existence of cloth, or anything like that, depends on a mutual support of the warp and the woof. And this miraculous thing occurs, that when the things support each other, uh, being comes into being, cloth comes into being. And so in exactly the same way, our world is a manifestation of relativity. And this requires a balance, a combination, a relationship of opposites in every domain of life. And although these opposites are explicitly different and even antagonistic, they are implicitly one. And that's the secret. See, there are these two secrets that we went into.